Hey everybody, it's Camille. I'm getting ready to present some really shocking information to you. So a couple weeks ago I went to the Human Anatomy and Physiology Society conference in Atlanta, which is the kind of thing I like to do for fun. And while I was there, I went to a session by Ken Saladin, who wrote this anatomy and physiology book. And it was one of my favorite sessions. In fact, it may have been one of my favorite conference sessions that I've ever attended. What we did is we looked at a bunch of terms and we talked about how we pronounce them and then we looked at the official medical dictionary definition or pronunciations and you have never heard the types of moaning groaning and gasps of shocked surprise that were coming out of this room full of people who teach physiology professionally it was really amazing so, so i wanted to share with you some of my favorite lessons from the session. And the way we're going to do it is I'm going to pull up a term, you're going to say it in your head, and then I will tell you how it's officially pronounced per Stedman's and or Tabor's medical dictionary. All right, so have you said this one in your head yet? It's acetylcholine, not acetylcholine, acetyl, acetylcholine, okay, or acetylcholine. You can say it either way. This one, oh man, this one, I, okay, say it in your head. Did you say areolar? Areolar tissue? Because if you did, you were right. If you said areolar, no, sorry. Try again. I can't even, like, let's, ju let's just move on. Okay, this, oh, this one is equally as bad, though. All right, have you said it? Did you say autophagy? Because <laughs> that's what you're supposed to say. Autophagy. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 like, okay. Anyway. Here's another one, foramen. That one's not as tricky, but I thought I'd throw it in there just in case. Foramen. All right, say this one. You're not gonna like it. Uh, neuroglia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> neuroglia, that's what you're supposed to call this. You're supposed to read along and just say, oh, and the neuroglia. You, yeah, that's, that's not cool. Okay, ischium. This is ischium, not, yeah. Just say it is Kim. This one's just a very small, subtle thing. So how do you say it? Did you say it in your head? All right, it's megakaryocyte, not care. Megakaryocyte. All right, here's another one. Everybody said it. It's pineal, not pineal, 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 pineal. This one is hard, this one is hard. It's hard anyway, but you're supposed to say Riti. 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 That's how it says. Okay, this is my least favorite. I, I may never I may never recover from this particular one. Alright, have you said it in your head? Uh, did you say Ruji? Because that's how you say it. Ruji. It's like algae. Except Ruji. It's it's mm -hmm. like okay. Anyway. Uh, Alright, so those of us who talk about glucosamine. Hmm? A lot of people in, who work with uh, bones and arthritis will want to be taking this particular supplement. Do you say glucosamine chondroitin? Because that's what you're supposed to say. Chondroitin, not chondroitin. Chondroitin. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun to change. All right. How about this one? Eliacus. Eliacus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, here's another one. How do you say this one? It should be pili or pili. Mm -hmm. Pili or pili. That's how you say it. Good luck. I've, this one I've never been able to say. I haven't even been able to come up with a standard pronunciation. I just avoid the word altogether because it's weird, even though I teach whole classes on the postpartum period. I just try not to say it. But now we have the official pronunciation, which is puerperium. Puerperium. Purpurium. It's kind of a horrible word, right? Anyway, now you know. We're getting to the end here. A couple more. How do you say this? Do you say tibialis? Because that's the correct way to say it. Tibialis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one last one. All right, say it in your head. All together now, did we say trochlea? Because if we did, we were right. All right, those were just the highlights. I hope I haven't crushed anyone's dreams here today. You may or may not choose to switch over your pronunciation, but at least you know now.